High school volleyball teams hit the court in regular season action tonight. The Pine Island Panthers hosted a tough Winona Cotter Ramblers squad. Let's start in the second set. The Ramblers only up two. The Panthers go to work. Ruby Severson places that one perfectly, cutting the lead to just one. On the next play, Panthers Adria Fielder with the dig. Ramblers set up Camry McCall right there. And Pine Island cannot return it, extending the lead to two. Pine Island is down three here. Jade Severson, take a look at this. With the block at the net, the Ramblers knock off the Panthers, though, three to one. And the Kenyan Wanamingo Knights face as unbroken as up at Cougars in the first. Cougars up six. Knights have an answer. Anna Ostertag places that one perfectly, cutting the lead to five. Knights continue the comeback, setting up Addie Lindell. For the slam, the Cougars are up two. And take a look at this. Cougars, Ella Chandler with the tap and the point. The Cougars beat the Knights in a battle with a 3-2 victory. And the Southland Rebels hit the road to face a tough Mabel Canton Cougars team. Cougars with the ball. Sahara Morgan sets up Kinley Soini for the kill there. Cougars up 7-2. And Cougars, Kaylee Ingvalson sends it over. A block at the net. And Soini taps that one over. Cougars up big, 21 to three. Set point here, Ava Jacobson with the serve. Marin Werenberg sets up Avery Stroop. And Mabel Canton with the block at the net. The Cougars shut out the Rebels three to nothing. The Spring Grove Lions took on the Lyle Pacelli Athletics. In the second set, Lions Jordis Neely with the serve. It hits the top of the net and falls over for the ace. Lions up 12. In the third set, Lions' Kendall Van Minsel sets up Emerson Ingelson for the slam. The Athletics cannot return it there. Lions up 7-0. Athletics' Marl Klinkowski with the serve in a diving effort by the Lions, but it's an ace for the Athletics. It would not be enough, though. The Lions beat the Athletics in three sets. And Minnesota girls tennis athletes are hitting the courts in the individual section tournament this week. Let's start with Class 2A. In the South Bracket Singles Competition, Mayo's Claire Loftus beat Owatonna's Emma Herzog in the semifinals. And Stuartville's Chloe Regal fell to Mayo's Ify Loftus. So it will be a battle of the Loftus sisters in the final tomorrow. Now in doubles, Mayo's Den and Ro Ryder beat Owatonna doubles team to advance to the finals. And Mayo's Medina and Colby beat Fairbo's doubles team, which means two Mayo doubles teams are hitting the court against each other in the section championship. In the 2A North bracket in singles, Century's Catherine Lee took on Lakeville North's Kira Kelly in the semifinals, and Kelly is moving on to the finals. Lakeville South's Ellie Chamberlain faced Century's Zoe Zhang. Zhang got the win to advance. And in the double semifinals, Century's Yu and McKeekern fell to Lakeville South's Morse and Welsh. Century Zhang and Shaw beat Lakeville North, Wyland, and Collins to advance to the finals. All of the action from Class 2A kicks off again tomorrow morning. And girls tennis athletes hit the courts in the Section 1A individual tournament too. Let's take a look at the doubles bracket. In the semifinals, Lords Molly Suno and Taylor Steelhammer are taking on Lake City's Therese Bauer and Riley Theron. And Narison and Tennyson from Cannon Falls have the doubles duo from Lake City Bauer and Merkins. Athletes hit the court again for the semifinals and finals tomorrow morning. In the WNBA Finals in New York, Liberty even the series with the Minnesota Lynx, splitting the first two games in New York in a best of five series. The Lynx are going home for game three after falling to the Liberty yesterday, 80 to 66. Liberty's Brianna Stewart had 21 points in the team's victory. Lynx forward Nafisa Collier says the team needs to come out even stronger on Wednesday night excited to go home play in front of our crowd and we have to respond we have to come out playing better than we did in these two games um it's hard like we're both competing for a championship you have to play with a level of desperation from the very beginning so um that's what we're going to need to do to come out with um in game three now game three is wednesday night at the target center tip-off is set for seven